Well, it's time for duty in Djibouti. It's time for duty in Djibouti. It's time for duty in Djibouti. Welcome to Duty in Djibouti. I'm Staff Sergeant Ashley Sidith with Combined Joint Task Force, Horn of Africa Public Affairs. In this edition, we'll show you service members volunteering at a local school in Djibouti, and also show you medical equipment being transferred from Camp Lemonnier's emergency medical facility to a local hospital in Djibouti. With that, let's get on with this week's Duty in Djibouti. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Jason Schechter with Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 3, and here's what's going on in the Horn of Africa. Service members came together to volunteer their time to help clean up a local school in Djibouti. We're getting ready to uh, clean up by putting on our safety gloves so we can keep things clean. We've got our bags and uh, ready to help out. Volunteers picked up trash to make the children's play area clean and safe. Sense of accomplishment, you know, helping out the locals and uh, making sure they have a safe, clean environment. The trash was not the only thing collected. These are just things that people send. Crackers, noodles, beans, you know, things, things like beans. Some service members brought toys and food to give to the school's children and teachers. We like to share with our friends, the people of Djibouti, and just like to do something nice. I feel like I did a stellar job. Amazing job. I'm pretty happy with all the bottle cups picked up. Reporting from Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa, I'm Staff Sergeant Ashley Sidadith. Service members from Camp Le Meunier's Expeditionary Medical Facility, or EMF, transferred two anesthesia machines to the Peltier General Hospital. The EMF upgraded their anesthesia capabilities, which left two machines as excess equipment on camp. The machines were given to help enhance Djiboutian medical care. These anesthesia machines increase their capacity and increase safety to provide surgical care to the individuals here. It also um, kind of helps us practice uh, modern anesthesia uh, coming here routinely. The hospital treats more than 2,000 emergency cases each year in their five operating rooms. Three of the five rooms have outdated machines. The newly acquired machines, adding to the hospital's medical outreach, can be used in pediatric cases, allowing for more effective care for children. But that's not the only positive, according to the hospital's medical director. They are smaller than the previous one we had and they can, easy, can uh, be easily mobilized through the one room to another room and uh, everything is well shaped so the work can be done uh, better and easier with the, according to the other machines. Reporting from Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa, I'm Petty Officer Jeremy Brandt. You know what's bugging me? What is it? <laughs> Mosquitoes. <laughs> We're back with more duty in Djibouti. Next, we'll take a look at soldiers with a 490th Civil Affairs Battalion participating in an English class with Djiboutian Army Special Forces in Karabtisan. How are you? How are you? Soldiers from Civil Affairs Team 4902 of the 490th Civil Affairs Battalion conducted a conversational English class with members of the Djiboutian Army Special Forces in the remote town of Karabtisan. The soldiers are stationed at Camp Lamonia, Djibouti, and are assigned to the Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa. Captain Araita Homed Ebele of the Djiboutian Special Forces hopes his soldiers will pick up the language quickly. Uh, he says we're at the first phase and we're just starting. Uh, uh, and he says we hope that, the, that my soldiers will be able to speak English in a few months' time. The class is part of an ongoing exchange between the Djiboutian Special Forces and Civil Affairs team where soldiers of both nations practice afar. English, French, and Somali. The groups hope to not only expand their language skills, but also their understanding of each other's cultures. What brings a good relationship is the understanding. When we saw Sergeant First Class Iskali and his team, uh, when we saw the relationship that they had conducted with the population of Karabtisan, we've enjoyed that very much, to a point that it came to the military. And once we got to know each other, uh, it was, it was very, very comfortable after that. Sergeant First Class Timothy Scally, NCYC of Civil Affairs Team 4902, says strengthening the relationship is the most important aspect of their mission. Well, they are our allies, and uh, we want to strengthen those bonds. Um, it's a very important thing that we're here working together. 
our projects very significant, to build a lasting relationship with these, these soldiers and their, their families and people. Reporting from the Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa, I'm Senior Airman Jonathan Garcia. I'm good. I'm good. That's it for this week's edition of Duty in Djibouti. We hope to see you next week. Until then, stay alert, stay hydrated, and keep taking your malaria pills. For Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs, I'm Staff Sergeant Ashley Sinadith. Beep, 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 beep,